I'm going to do a video showing this garden as a part two video. I fitted now a DCC decoder to this. It has a 21 pin chip, comes in these um, pre factory, I think, on this end. Yeah, you see it in there. So it's actually a chip holder in, the, in there. And it actually runs on DC or DCC um, layout. Now, this, this with the train now. They do run on DCC straight out of the box, but you don't get the effect of having one end lit and one end turned off. Like I'll show one that's not being converted yet for DC or DCC dual function yet. See, hang on, see how the lights are lit up all the time. And the lights are on this end as well. They're not giving really to effect when that one side's on and one side's not lit. Well, it doesn't really bother me because I can run them. It does, I, I was running it before in the work converter with the drain totally, totally effective. That one's going to be kept like that um, until I get the couplers from Sarge Engineering in the United States. They're not cheap, but they're actually quite good. It's $20 shipping, and I think the price, you add $20 to it um, for shipping and that. But if you want to get these trains looking so realistic, they are actually look much more better when they, you put these sergeant couplers on um, and the oxygen couplers come on them. But I like these ones better. But I do use oxygen couplers. Like on the grain coach, I've been training the grain coaches coupling the sets together. It's using the original couplers as well. On the end where the locos join, it has the sergeant couplers. I'll show you this one opening if I can do it one-handed here. I can't open it with the nut with the thing. Let me just put this down. I'll take it off the rails, tip the train upside down, and lock the knuckle coupler. That's how it does actually open. Oops. My friend who works on being, I would know these couples are realistic because they look quite realistic. The only thing is, I don't have an in-class to pull any controllers now because I do. I did have one in the past, but it's been pieces now. It doesn't even work. But they don't make them anymore. It's really annoying. But the cup looks so realistic. You can actually have open or closed. But I'll probably leave it open so I can couple up to other units. All my open bows have that. I think it's X31. It's a realistic couple there. And our 84 has the realistic coupler. And some old Marvel stock as I except the British Rail ones. But let me show you these working as DC control before I forget. You see the lights aren't on now because it is powered on the track, but if I press function zero. Now if I press function zero, there you go, the lights come on now. But not on the rear end. Let me move this up this I'm move it. It's hard to do one handed. But not on the rear end. It should be now though. There you go. They're going on this end. But not on this end. So this can be controlled. Um I'm not sure how they were powered by in V lines world back in the 80s. I'm not too sure. I believe they're powered by batteries, so I'm not too sure how they were powered up. They've got to be either powered by the generator from the locomotive and on on um on um passenger duties because they because they have a um a power cable that runs through the tire coaches to the end, or they rather run by 12 volt batteries. But I'm not sure how they run because if you had them on 12 volt batteries, you'd have to have the batteries charged every time the thing went back to the workshops. I'm not sure how they originally run on these. Because these were around in the 80s, I'm not sure how they run it. I know they, I know they had trawler batteries there back then. They could be had a dynamo motor on the wheels, what so spun with the wheels, turning when it ran down the track to charge the battery. Because that's probably how they did it in the old days. That's what realistic line now. And the other will mention, um, because these, when you, when the decodes I use on my, all, most of my rollers are uh, dual function decodes, it means it can run on the DCC. Control that gives you realistic control, like you can control one one like at a time. Because when like they can do like a locomotive they control by one drive at one end and then you have to drive all of them with different drivers. But with the other on DC, it control all the workers run at the same time on the one power. But this when I'm on DC so you can control each other separately. 
I'll call damage right back. You can see X31 move. But here you guys my move on the table. All my life are going to control. Control operation. So this can run as a thing. Now what I'm gonna to have to do to this this carriage, I'm gonna to have to put a sticker underneath with the with the decoder mode um the number it because I'm gonna forget the code number and have to reset the chip. Now with the because I have been on dual because sometimes I um go to um Victor Nose here which is how much some of my working for me and they run those dual functions, that's why I do it for so they can do friends as I can just run them on DC and controlled layouts. So this will still run on DC layouts, I just want a DCC controller, it still runs on DC power. Like a, like, a, like a DC carriage would. Try your Daiko. I'm not like a um, guards fan. It's got the game ways like the NSETs have, so if you had them with an NSET, you can walk through that falling out the side. But that's my update to my um, V-Line guards van number 291.